If you have heard of Star Trek, then you must be a fan of science fiction and interested in the history of this iconic show. Star Trek, with its futuristic setting and captivating storylines, has captured the hearts of millions of viewers around the world. But today, we are not here to talk about the starships or the intergalactic adventures. Instead, we are going to take a closer look at the beautiful women who graced the screen during the early days of Star Trek. In the 1960s, when Star Trek first aired, the world was going through a period of immense change. It was a time of social and cultural revolution, and the women of Star Trek reflected this changing landscape. The Enterprise dress code required microminis for all female crew members, and it seemed like every episode provided an opportunity for some sci-fi eye candy. One of the most memorable characters was Yeoman Janice Rand, played by Grace Lee Whitney. Unfortunately, Whitney was cut from the show before the first season ended, and the reasons for it remain unclear. It's known that she was struggling with alcoholism at the time, but there were also budgetary cuts. Whatever the reason, her departure left a void in the hearts of many fans. But it wasn't just Yeoman Rand who captured the attention of viewers. In episode after episode, we were introduced to a parade of smoking hot babes. From Karen Steele to Majel Barrett, these women brought a touch of glamour and sensuality to the final frontier. Take Sherry Jackson, for example. Primarily known for her role as the oldest daughter on The Danny Thomas Show, Jackson surprised everyone when she appeared in Playboy in 1967. Her nude scene in a Blake Edwards movie may have been cut from the American release, but it didn't stop her from becoming a cult figure in later years. And let's not forget Mariana Hill, who played Lieutenant Helen Noel in Dagger of the Mind. With her stunning looks and undeniable talent, Hill undoubtedly played a role in the blossoming of many young boys. But it wasn't just the guest stars who stole the show. Even the minor characters, like Phyllis Douglas as Yeoman Mears in The Galileo 7, left a lasting impression. Douglas, one of the last surviving cast members of Gone with the Wind, brought a sense of boredom and indifference to her role, which made her all the more intriguing. As we journey through these old photographs, we can't help but be transported back to a time when Star Trek was at its peak. The most exciting part is still ahead, so let's immerse ourselves in the images and reminisce about that era. These photos not only capture the beauty and allure of the women of Star Trek but also serve as a reminder of the historical context in which they existed. So, sit back, relax, and let's take a trip down memory lane. Let's celebrate the babes of Star Trek and the era they represented. Let's remember the impact they had on our lives and the cultural significance of this iconic show. The journey awaits, and the memories are waiting to be relived.